rebound, misses the follow. LeBron leading the Cavs, who are on a 7-0 run. Over the head of Berejao, turnover. Turnovers have been a problem for Cleveland. Mike Brown in their losses to Boston and New Orleans. So the turnovers kill them. Giving up 20 points off of turnovers in those games. You just can't afford to do that when you're playing good ball club. Daniel Gibson into the backcourt. No Williams has gone to the bench for the Cavs. Nice screen and roll. Heinrich and Gooden over to Rose. Shot clock at five. The switch, Rose over Zerbiak, not this time, and another rebound for LeBron, who's been active on the glass. Already five boards for LeBron James. Wally Zerbiak wide open. And then off the fingertips of Verizal, out of bounds, the Bulls retain possession. A good find there by LeBron, a cross-court pass, finding a wide open Wally Zerbiak. And normally a shot he knocks down. You talk about LeBron and his rebounding, he's averaging eight rebounds a game along with eight assists. I know he's down to 22 points, but the you know, things that he does for this ball club. Yeah. Letting the game come to him tonight. Just one field goal attempt in the early going for LeBron James. And, and really a different role for him. Off the ball a little bit more. With Mo Williams coming in, the ball is in Williams' hands a little bit more. LeBron is playing off the ball. Well, and I think that's going to pay dividends down the end of the year. And he's not going to wear himself out, be so tired, to have to make every single play, every time down the floor. And he's probably going to have to learn how to play without the basketball. He's so used to having the ball in his hands. Now you can run him off double double screens, maybe get him down in the post. But Mo Williams, he, he is a, a playmaking for himself primarily. But this is a guy that can run a club. I'm not saying that he takes bad shots. He's a selfish guy. He's just a scoring point. But that's going to lessen the load for LeBron James throughout this season. West handling now with Williams on the bench, defended by Rose. Dang trying to stay with LeBron. Gibson and a block by Heinrich. And it's another valuable thing he brings to the team, even though he struggled most of the last season with his shot. A terrific defender in the backcourt. Rose into traffic, a bad decision there. Back on the Cavs. West all the way, up and under and in. And you said bad decision on one end, then he doesn't hustle back and get to Delonte West. In transition, West draws the contact and the foul with Drew Gooden. And the Cavs out to an early four-point lead. Gray going green and also going health conscious in the center lost about 25 30 pounds and this is a Bulls team without a lot of size they play small they don't have much of a post presence but he's starting to get more and more minutes for video Negro. you know what he is their best post presence he's polished down there he's not an athletic guy but there's certain nights that he can be a, a good matchup for him. He play against the bigger center but he's gonna struggle going against the Dwight Howard and the Chris Boston but there are nights they're gonna use him because he is a very good post player 10 to 2 run the Cavs are on right now as we move into the last couple of minutes of the first quarter Andres Nocioni off the bench misses the long jumper Nocioni was a key to that near comeback win against Orlando the Bulls made a late charge in the fourth quarter with three guards Nocioni and Gooden in the game what a drive and finish that's what we've been talking about the strength I mean, he got hammered on that play he didn't hinder his shot at all Collected himself, takes no shiny, nice pick and roll here. Noah's got to step out, meet LeBron James earlier. He lets him get to the hoop, and that's an easy and one for this freight train. You, you see what LeBron's doing right now. He's looking around, he's saying, okay, Rose is out there. Gordon is out there. Heinrich is Who out do there. I got? Who do I got? <laughs> because here's the Bulls going with this small lineup we just talked about that helped them late in the game against Orlando. And LeBron's looking around saying, man, there are a lot of little guys on the floor right now. So either LeBron or Wally Zerbiak is going to have to cover one of the small Chicago guards. Again, LeBron not really looking up to that rim. I'd like to see him concentrate on that more. But Mike Brown telling us he's not going to chase lineups. He, he plays his rotation, and he's not going to chase lineups and, and mix things up. And it's LeBron on Kirk Heinrich right now. Ben oh, Gordon no, no. off the bench, off the glass, and in. Come on, Ben. Don't act like you meant to do that. <laughs> uh, you know. But 
Hey, that's, that's a nice freebie to start the yeah. day with a bank three-point shot. And this is the lineup with no Cioni, Gordon, and Heinrich along with Rose. This is probably as good of an offensive lineup as the Bulls can put out there. Maybe Gooden instead of Joe Kimanoa. Anderson Averijao fouled 